Good day, viewers, and welcome to the best learning hub for the sciences, Jalo Science Academy. I am Mohamed Yero Jalo. In today's tutorial, I'll be taking you through a request I received from one of our viewers demanding that I should prove the sine and the cosine formula. And mind you, we will be responding to your questions in our Tuesdays and Wednesdays session referred to as the midweek sessions. That is where we'll be answering questions. You can direct your questions on one of our social media handles via Facebook, Jalo Science Academy, via Telegram, Jalo Science Academy, or in the comment section below. To prove the sign rule, we are going to consider a scaling triangle. As we know, a scaling triangle is a triangle with none of its sides and none of its angles to be equal. So we can label this triangle here as triangle A, B, and here C. So triangle A, B, C, and the sides facing these angles, the side facing this will be lowercase a, the side facing C will be lowercase c, and the side facing B will be lowercase b. So with this, we are going to construct a perpendicular to the base AC. And this forms an angle of 90 degrees because it is perpendicular. We can refer to this perpendicular as the height H. That's the altitude. And where this perpendicular line touches AC, let's refer to here as uppercase letter D. So in this situation, we now have two triangles in here. That's triangle ABD, ABD, and triangle BCD. So we can start off from triangle ABD. So we'll say from triangle ABD. We want to find the sine of this angle and the sine of this angle. And from our trigonometric ratios, we can recall Sokatwa. So we're going to use the first one, the SOH, that sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine of this angle A, sine of the angle A will be equal to the opposite side, BV, over the hypotenuse, AB. So sine of the angle A will be equal to BV is H, that's the altitude, over a, B is C. So if we want to make H the subject, we can say H is equal to C sine of A. And we can refer to this as our first equation. So with this equation that we have from triangle ABD, we can also move to the other triangle, that's triangle BCD. From triangle BCD here, we also find sine of this angle C. So sine of the angle C, we learned that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That's opposite over hypotenuse. That also gives us BV over the hypotenuse BC. So it means sine of the angle C is equal to BD is the altitude H over BC gives us side A. So if we want to make H the subject, then H will be equal to A sine C. We label this as our second equation. Mind you, the sine rule is this. Sine A upon A is equal to sine B upon B is also equal to sine c upon c this is the rule that we are trying to derive okay so with this if you look at these two equations you will discover that h is equal to c sine a in equation one and also h is equal to a sine c 
in equation two. So meaning we can equate both equations. So we equate equation one and equation two. So equating them, we will have C sine A for equation one to be equal to A sine C for equation two. So what we do, we can divide here by C and divide here by C. So C and C cancel, we'll be left with sine A is equal to A sine C upon C. So what we do, we can multiply here by 1 over A and also multiply here by 1 over A. So 1 multiplied by sine A gives us sine A over the side A we equate it to. This and this will cancel. Sine C multiplied by 1 gives us sine C. We express it over the side C. So if we are only dealing with two angles and we have this setup, I mean in sine of A over the angle A is equal to sine of C over the angle C, meaning if angle B was also included, we will then get sine of A over angle A will be equal to sine of B over angle B also be equal to sine of C over angle C. So this is your sine formula. For those that love Latin, they will say QED, that is quad erat demonstradum. So it has been derived. Next, we look at the cosine. So using this triangle also to get the cosine rule. Now, this point here is where the perpendicular touches AC. So from this point to this point, we can refer to this as X, okay? And from this point to this point here, if from A to C is B, then from this point to this point will now become B minus X. So from the cosine rule, in this triangle, it can be stated as any of these three that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of the angle a. Or we can also state it as b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine of the angle b. We can also say c squared is equal to b squared plus a squared minus 2ab cosine of the angle c. So any of these three satisfies for the cosine rule. So now let's look at how we can prove this. So from the two triangles that we have here, we start off with triangle ABV from triangle ABV. Now looking at this, a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. It looks like Pythagoras' theorem. And similarly, b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared. And also, c squared is equal to b squared plus a squared. All of these three on this side looks like Pythagoras' theorem. So we are going to apply Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem. So here, Pythagoras' theorem states that the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. So that tells us c squared is equal to h squared plus this from a to d is b minus x. So we refer to it as b minus x squared. So if we are to expand this, it becomes c squared is equal to h squared plus. So this becomes b squared minus 2bx plus x squared. We can refer to this as our equation 1. Also, we have another triangle that is bcv. So we say from triangle bcv here, we also apply Pythagoras' theorem.
So applying Pythagoras' theorem to this, the square on the hypotenuse, that is, a squared is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. That gives us h squared plus x squared. So if we try to make h squared the subject, so h squared will be equal to a squared minus x squared. We refer to this as our second equation. So the next thing what we do, we substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So substituting 2 into 1, our new equation becomes c squared is equal to h squared is a minus a squared minus x squared, a squared minus x squared plus b squared minus 2bx plus x squared. Now looking at this, this bracket has no implication on this. So we can write it as c squared is equal to a squared minus x squared plus b squared minus 2bx plus x squared. So now what we do? This negative x squared, the positive x squared will cancel. So we are left with c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2bx. So this is what we have. You can take a screenshot of this and jot them down. So we continue. So here, if we look at this, it begins to synchronize with this equation. This is c squared, a squared, b squared, minus 2b. The only different thing we have there is the x. So now for us to get rid of that x, what do we do? We look at where we have x on the side. So that x is going to be replaced. So what we do, we are going to use the trigonometric ratios. So using trig ratios here, this side, the x, we are going to express it over the side. As we know, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So say cosine of the angle C is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So here we have x is equal to A cos C. So we can refer to this as our third equation. So here with this, we can now say x is equal to a cos c. We can refer to this as our fourth equation, and this as our third equation. So now what we do, we substitute, substitute 4 into 3. So substituting equation 4 into equation 3, it states c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 times b times x now becomes a cos c. So this finally becomes c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of the angle c. So this becomes your cosine formula. So we we'll say Q E Z quad erat demonstratum. So this is how you can derive the sine rule and the cosine rule. Thanks for watching. Like our videos. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. Hit the notification bell to be notified each time we release a new video. There is Facebook page, Jalo Science Academy. Go to Facebook, search for Jalo Science Academy, like our page and follow our post. Also, there is a study group on Telegram titled Jalo Science Academy. Go to Telegram, search for Jalo Science Academy, join the group. You can post your questions there and we will answer them for you in our midweek sessions. Thanks for watching and always stay tuned to this channel. Love you all.